Hey guys, it's Pastor Andy. Today is April the 1st, and we're looking together in Psalm chapter 56. Psalm 56 was written in a time in David's life when he was running for his life and actually ran to the last place anyone would ever look for him, and that is in Gath. And the reason that would be the last place anyone would ever look for David is, remember when David was a young boy, the giant that he killed, Goliath. Where was he from? He was from Gath. So this was not an area that would have been welcoming to David. So he goes in and he's hiding there for his life and he writes this psalm. And he says in verse 1, O God, have mercy on me, for people are hounding me. My foes attack me all day long. I am constantly hounded by those who slander me, and many are boldly attacking me. And then verse 3 is so, could so be applied to what we're going through today. I want you to listen carefully as we read it. Verse 3, But when I am afraid, I will put my trust in you. And when we are afraid, and there's so much fear in our world today with COVID-19 and, and all of these things, there's so many people are struggling in fear, but the Bible says, when I am afraid, I will trust in you. And when we are afraid, we can put our trust in God as well. The next verse says, I praise God for what he has promised. Now listen to the next phrase in this verse. I trust in God, so why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? And David repeats that same thing in verse 11. He says, I trust in God. So why should I be afraid? What can mere mortals do to me? And we can take that same prayer that David prayed, and we can change the words a little bit to make it apply to us today. I trust in God, so why should I be afraid? What can happen to me here on earth that God is not in control of? There's so much comfort in that. When I have fear, when I'm afraid, what's going to happen to me? What's going to happen to our economy? What's going to happen to my 401k? What's going to happen to my job? When I'm afraid, I will trust in God because he is the one who's promised to never leave us and never forsake us, to walk with us every step through every difficulty and every trial. We can trust in him because he is our good, good father, as the song says. So when you have those fears come in, when you start to feel a little bit afraid about what is happening in this world or what's happening to your bank account or what's happening in your health, when I'm afraid, I will trust in him. That doesn't mean that he's going to take the fear completely away. It just means that we're putting our trust in something greater than what we fear. And he will walk with us and he will guide us and we will be safe with him. When I am afraid, I will trust in him. I hope that encourages you today like it did me when I read it again this morning. And I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. God bless you and have a great day.